Hey guys, Quarantina here, and I am at a restaurant with Beanie. And look at what we're eating. Today we are trying this undisclosed restaurant's name because it's one of our favorite places. And I don't want to mention it because I don't know if I have permission for that. Do I have to get permission for that before mentioning it? I don't know. I like this place. I don't want people showing up and bothering me. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I kind of know This is my favorite place. You don't know when I show up here, when and where, so. <laughs> so, these are called wingdings. They are double fried and crispy. And they are delicioso. I also have in a glass of Moscato. Sarabella. So I got them with the traditional blue cheese, celery. I'm not really a big celery fan. I actually prefer carrots. I, they don't have that here apparently. But normally I just like to eat them uh, kind of like in a weird way. I don't know if you guys ever watched, I think it was the Russian hacker or somebody on YouTube taught me a while ago that you can actually like twist the bones and pull them out. Only with the wing parts, not the leg parts. So I'm gonna show you guys a way to eat these like a lady. I'm going to find the bones, I'm going to pull them out. Pull the bone pulling technique. <laughs> Just find the joint and then you twist it and pull it out. Try to find the other bone. Can you put this whole thing in here? Oh. You can. You just gotta pull the joint out. I don't need it because I also want to mention that I like to use napkins while eating and then at the end use the wet naps because if you use the wet naps between things, it kind of gets the flavor of the wet naps on you and then your hands taste gross and then your food starts to taste gross. So, just a little feedback like there, I don't know. Now these guys, they're harder to eat. It's always messy, you can't really avoid it. Instead of giving it to you on the side, I don't know, I prefer to toss it. Or at least come out crispy and then toss the sauce right in, you know, it's really fast. You don't want them to sit too long because it'll get all soft, soggy and stuff. But the texture and everything, and these are nice sized wings too. Some places kind of cheat on the meat, but these guys, wherever they get these wings, um, they're perfect and they're ne they never disappoint. Every time I come here, they're always good. What are you doing? I have all this blue cheese left over. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't I don't want them to reuse it in the kitchen when they take this back. So you gotta yeah. kinda of, you do this and you make it all gross. So now see now they can't reuse it. Oh my gosh. Just stuffing it with bubble cheese. Yeah. That way they can't reuse this and give it to somebody else. Like, Why would you they, they could put that on somebody else's plate. Ew, no. Why? They might. They might put it on oh, somebody else's plate. Yeah. That's awful, I don't <laughs> Always wreck your stuff and don't give it to somebody else. So I learned that from my grandmother because she said her first job, she was a waitress. She said the guy that she worked for at this diner was so cheap that he would reuse everything. So she got mad because she got mad when he would take the little cup of 
butter or sauce or ketchup or whatever off of somebody's used plate, put it on somebody else's plate, and send it back out. She said, no, that's disgusting. So she would start doing this on purpose when she would clean up a table. So they, they couldn't reuse the stuff and she got fired for it. Oh my gosh. I, I have some waitress stories too, but nothing like that. I mean, granted, this was probably in the 50s. Still. <laughs> but there's still people out there that do. You got it. Not that I think this place. Well, I'm hoping with COVID that they're being a lot careful now. <laughs> cleaner. <laughs> Just keeps adding to it. It looks like a piece of artwork. Well, see, then I thought they might reuse the celery sticks. Oh, no. But the celery sticks are, you're on, the celery sticks are untouched. They could put them on somebody else's plate. I'll make a Stonehenge out of my celery stick. I'll make a celery henge. There you go. I like the taste of the blue cheese, but the cheese doesn't like me. I have to take my lactate so I don't fart. Okay. <laughs> hey. I don't like the problem. Okay, I decided to pull a permit on mine. Mine is more structurally safe than yours. Just, <laughs> just saying. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Mine has wet nap labels on it. Yours doesn't. These are the flags of the country. Fine though. Square footage. Square footage. <laughs> I actually like cut into my celery, made little slits, and then I s glued mine with the blue cheese <laughs> to hold together. So next hurricane is gonna blow through, and mine's gonna be fine. And yours is gonna go. <laughs> oh wait, actually. You're reckoning. I'm, 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 I'm testing the structure. It's okay. <laughs> Add another bone to it. Yeah. I'm gonna add bones to things. <laughs> Try blowing mine over. Try what? Try knocking mine over. <laughs> no! My leftovers! My leftovers! Those leftovers had a family! <laughs> All right, so I decided I couldn't finish this all, and I wanted to take the blue cheese home, so I put four away for later, because I can't eat them all. I can't eat about six, right? There was like 10 in that plate, right? I think it was 10 or 12, no, 10. Yeah, I think it was like 10. It was good size. I don't like eating like a huge amount, so, you know, make the taste stuff sometimes. But yeah, I will see you later. You know, wine was made to make your palate taste the food better, because it cleanses it. And then every time you eat a new piece of food, it tastes just like the first bite. Because after you've eaten food for a while, like your tongue gets used to it. So that's why I like to drink something with my wings. Okay. Cheers, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.